Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, let me demonstrate the unboxing of Moto X Play. It's pretty nice. We have ordered this one from Flipkart. I'm using my traditional knife to remove all this. We have ordered a couple of them. One is 16 GB variant, the other one is 32 GB. Since we have ordered together, they have provided in the same box. You can visualize the same over here, the 32 and 16 GB variant. Towards left, the 16 GB version and towards right, the 32 GB. It's pretty difficult to find from these boxes. Let me put this 32 GB variant beside and concentrate on our 16 GB variant. Let's unbox to see what are there inside this box. Up top, you can see the device itself. Let us put open and place it in our hands to see how it looks like. It's pretty nice in hand. Towards top, you can see a screen guard providing all the specifications on it, but it's not good. Let me remove that and see the other stuff over here. Here comes the charging cable and USB data sync. It's pretty good. This is not Type-C, the future proof what we are seeing in the latest models, but the size is too good. Next up is the wall mounting. This has two USB ports. It's pretty good. From front, you can see this is an Indian version. And the back, these two will really double up. I mean, you don't need to block your power cables over there. That's a great sign. The 3.5mm audio jack, hands-free is included in this box which nowadays most of other companies are excluding due to cost cutting. It's a good sign Motorola included it. The quality is not as good as expected but you need to prefer the other one. They also included tons of documentation in the package. Indeed altogether totally 5 books. I'll walk them all quickly but I don't expect anyone would spend their time reading before using their smartphones. This is a SIM tray. They have provided it. This can be used to eject your tray and provide your details in it. So it's good with Yum Motorola branding. Let me pack it inside and clear up all this stuff so that we can concentrate on the main device itself. Towards top, as I mentioned, this is a default screen. Towards right, you can see there is a volume rocker button which is doubled into a single button and there is a power button. Towards top, there is a 3.5mm jack as well as a SIM tray. You can use that earlier pin to pop over here. To remove that, let me show that later on in the video. Towards left you see everything is empty, there is nothing bare bone structure over here. And towards bottom, you should see there is a charging port which can be also used for quick charge where very few companies are offering. In the back you can see a nice designed one, you can remove that as well. And there is a metal frame for your 21 megapixel camera, there is a dual tone flash and the dimple for a Motorola for easy end towards bottom, there is a microphone. Once you remove this back over you can see the internals as well. But the sad part is this is not user removable battery so it's stuck in. And there is some information towards the top. It's nice to build. You can use this process to pop your back screen in. It's pretty nice. You can use a swappable that one according to your customization different colors. I can use my SIM tray to pop it out as I mentioned earlier. It's pretty easy. You can see it's a dual SIM, SIM 1 and SIM 2. Up top if you flip it down you can also use a micro SD card which can increase the size up to 128 GB. That's a great sign. Very few are offering now. I can pop it in right this and it's a nice design which is fitting to the design itself. Let me boot up the phone. Uh, sorry guys, I gotta carry the rest of the video with this demo screen guard on. Since I wanna use tempered glass at the time, I wanna remove that. There's a nice animation booting over here, coming with Android, the globe spinning around, showing different stuff. This is a 5.5, 1080p display, 21 megapixel, 3630. That's uh, the mammoth battery over here, dual SIM and other stuff. So while Wi-Fi is going on, I can provide my password and click next. This is a quick walkthrough of this OS, how to set up at the beginning. So I can skip over here or wait for some time. It's asking for the software update. I'm not interested right now. It's asking tab and go to provide some details. I can skip that stuff. It's checking some of the internal information. It's requesting to add some of the Google account over here. I'm not interested, so I'm just skipping it right now. I can do that later on as well. Here it is asking some information regarding to account setup. I can skip this as well. You can personalize your device with your name. I have provided my desired name. Once satisfied you can click next to accept the same. It is asking to protect your phone right now. But anyway I am not interested to do up 
at this moment but it's always preferred to do as soon as possible here in the Google services you can tap more and click next to accept all the terms what next it is asking to start migrating your old phone stuff over here but I'm not interested I can click maybe later so that it asks me you can click got it one last time that's it this is the home screen you can see there are no more home screens that's why you don't see anything while you're swiping this is the app drawer and all the default applications that you can see over here the call how it looks like the moment you tap on the dial pad you can see the size and the response I'm just calling some dummy number I can cancel that off by clicking on this red button that's it you can go to the home screen you can swipe down to see all the notification icons over here I can show you this uh, flash over here it's pretty nice and strong I can stop that one I can increase the brightness by pulling it all the way last you can swipe up going to the home screen these are the default applications you can multiple screens you can swipe out all this stuff if needed let's get into uh, settings I just wanted to show you the version of it so all the way go down to about phone tap on it you should see the hardware version and the version and baseband versions tap on Android 5.1.1 this is of lollipop while you're tapping multiple times you can see a game is popping out this is a pretty tough game I'm just showing a sample of it even I could not count so at the bottom you can see our remaining details like kernel versions and model number next up I'm just showing a brief a demo of camera you can see a lot much details in my next video dedicated to camera itself the settings are pretty cool much better than the stock Android or any other stuff so lollipop is doing a great job over here these are the folders how it looks like and towards the bottom you can see the messaging so one last time I'm just quickly demoing how to type or use this stuff thanks for watching this video this is Kiran signing off have a good day bye bye